Hello students, today we are going to discuss class 10 general science chapter 2 acid bases and salts. So before we discuss about acid bases and salts, so we need to learn something about the general criteria how does we can distinguish a acid and a base. So first of all, this acids this substance is generally taste in soul, whereas this base is taste in bitterness. So in science in chemistry, how we are going to identify whether a substance, given substance is acid or a base. To know that, we need to learn about indicators. So indicators are those substances which show a change in its color or smell when allowed to react with an acid or base. So these are some substances which can be synthetically prepared, which can be obtained naturally. And these particular substances were allowed to react with an acid or base. They show some physical changes, either change in their color, change in the order. And this, from these physical changes, we can conclude that the particular substance to be acid or base. And that we are going to learn in this particular topic that is called indicators. So indicators can be further classified as natural indicators, synthetic indicators, and olfactory indicators. So natural indicators are those indicators which are obtained naturally. For example, litmus, turmeric powder. And synthetic indicators, for example, the methyl orange and phenolphthalein prepared in chemical labs. All factory indicators, these are the indicators which show a change in its order when it comes in contact with acid or base, example, clove, onion, vanilla. So I am just uh, picking up the topics according to the NCRT science book. So first one is the natural indicator, so it is obtained naturally. So litmus, litmus is a purple dye which is obtained naturally. From and uh, extracted from the lichen. Lichen belongs to Tridophyta. Whereas the star made powder we are regularly using in our uh, kitchens. So you can have a experimental star made powder. So if you take two test tubes uh, and add water, and you add half teaspoons of star made powder in each test tube and then shake it well. After that, in one test tube, you just apply or pour a few drops of lemon juice, you will see a change in the turmeric powder, the color, the color of the turmeric powder changes. And in the other tube, you add some pellets of the baking soda, there will be change in its color uh, or not, we don't know. And that particular change will be able to determine whether the particular substance is acid or base. Next is the synthetic indicators. This you will get in the chemical laboratories, which will be applied to the given substance and they will show some senses or may not show some senses and from that we can determine whether the substance is acid or base and next is the olfactory indicators these particular indicators they give a sense of order that means they will give a change in the order now you can see in the home we have clove, onion, vanilla you know the, these are very familiar smells the order of this clove is very familiar onion is very familiar and vanilla is very familiar so whenever these particular substances are allowed to react with acid or base, this particular substance shows some changes in their order. And from that, we, are, we can conclude that the given substance is whether acid or base. So this is about what indicators and why we need and how we are going to use the indicators and how can we determine whether the given substance is an acid or base, we are going to discuss in the next part of this class. Back to the next sections. In the previous section we have discussed about the indicators and here we are going to learn about the changes that means how are these indicators applied and what are the changes and from the changes how can you understand or how can you determine whether the given substance is acid or a base so here comes in case of acid so this turmeric powder when allowed to react with acid it is found to be colorless that means sorry it does not react it does not break and this particular primary reaction I'm going to show here so here I'll take two test tubes say so test tube A and test tube B, B both are mixed with turmeric solution you can see here both are mixed with turmeric solution yellow in color now in one test tube I'm going to add dilute sulfuric acid you can see I have added dilute sulfuric acid and gently I'm mixing it and you can see that there is no change in color. There is no change in color. The color remains yellow. It is yellow is in color. Next, I am taking the other test tube, that is test tube B. 
which contains the same turmeric solution and here I am going to add some pellets of base some pellets of base that is baking powder mixed with detergent you see that some pellets of base As soon as I have added the base, you can see the color is changing. It is now not yellow, rather it is red in color. You can just compare with the previous one. The previous one was yellow, but this is now red in color. That means what we can conclude? We can conclude that when turmeric powder, when acid is allowed to react with turmeric powder, this color does not change, it remains yellow. And when turmeric powder is allowed to react with the base, its color changes from yellow to red. Thus, this is a natural indicator, and this helps us to determine whether a given substance is base or a acid. So we can conclude here that the turmeric powder no change in color. And I have proved it through an experiment. So when acid is added to turmeric solution. There is no change in color. Whereas the lip mask, in the blue lip mask, the color changes from blue to red. Methyl orange is color changes to red. Phenolphthalein it remains colorless. Note neutral lip mask is always purple in color. But I said lip mask in the previous session I discussed that lip mask is obtained from the lichen belonging to the teridophyta. So this particular lip mask, when it is in the neutral state, it shows purple color. But this particular blue lip mask is color changes to red when allowed to react with acid, whereas methyl orange it changes to red when allowed to react with acid, and phenolphthalein it color remains colorless. And that's all about the indications that are given by this particular substance when allowed to react with acid. Next, we're going to see for base. We're going to discuss for base. Base. I can see here, already we have done an experiment where the turmeric solution was turned, the color changes to color changes to red. The color changes to red. We have done the experiment and we have seen that the color changes to red. So this was the test tube, which was mixed with base and this was mixed with acid. So its color changes to red. Next. The lip mask, that means its color changes from red to blue. Its color changes from red to blue. And methyl orange color changes, changes to light yellow phenolphthalein phenolphthalein color changes to pink so this particular colorless phenolphthalein when base is added its color changes to pink whereas turmeric it changes to red lip mask the red lip mask changes to blue and whereas the methyl orange it changes to light yellow so this is all about the application of indicators and how we can use the different types of indicators to determine a given substance to be acid or base and next we are going to the major part of the sector that is we are next part we are going to discuss about acid and base okay.